Hello, my name is Livia Bart. I'm a graphic designer, a visual facilitator, a graphic recorder, and also a PhD student at the Faculty of Humanities of Alta Budapest, Hungary. I research visual communication and visualization in knowledge communication, just like education or training. As part of this research, I've been working on the development of a teaching learning practice that uses interpretation-based and manual, that is not computer-generated or alg algorithmic text visualization, to help the understanding and interpretation of abstract academic readings in the field of humanities. The method was developed in joint work with Dr. Bea Margitazi from our Department of Film Studies during three semesters of small group reading seminars with BA and MA students of film, media and communication, aesthetics and general humanities. Our practice is based on the hypothesis that the visual interpretative transformation of the argumentative logical pattern of a linear text supports the more thorough understanding of its key conceptual framework and also helps to evade non-reflected short copies. Now, what do we mean by short copies? In our experience, when students read an academic text, for example, film, media or art theory in our case, they highlight or underline key phrases or words and copy them to short study notes, which they eventually use to prepare for an exam or a test. These concise extracts seem easier to study from. They are one, two page notes compared to 10, 15 printed pages. However, they are often mere copies of these phrases in a given order without much active reflection on their meaning or their conceptual relations. And so they don't necessarily help critical understanding, interpretation, analysis, or the contextualization of information. In the seminars, we worked at readings from the curricula of media and communication, film studies, art theory studies. These texts often use a highly abstract language and abstract concepts which need to be defined in relations circumscribed by other concepts. The understanding and interpretation of such texts heavily relies on a relational work, on clarifying how concepts relate to each other within and outside the text. In humanities disciplines, this work is mostly done through verbalization tasks such as discussions, close reading sessions, or writing essays. To add an alternative perspective, we ask the students to map the conceptual relations in two-dimensional diagrams instead of linear notes. This transformation means a step backwards from the text, switching to an overview perspective or big picture scale. However, to create such diagrams, one needs to thoroughly understand the details of the text with a critical mind. So, the previously mentioned short copies can be evaded. In these experimental seminars, we dealt with each text along a four-step process. First, students read the text at home accompanied by a simple reading log. Secondly, we had an in-class traditional close reading session with the group to mark key concepts and structural units within the text. Thirdly, students individually created visual interpretations, visualizations of the text. They were asked to seek a visual arrangement, a conceptual grid, diagram, a visual metaphor, etc., in which they can effectively express their own understanding of the concepts and arguments of the text. In the fourth step, the students were to create a large-scale visualization in class in group collaboration. In this session, they briefly presented their individual work, then, as a group, they discussed them, decided on the general structural layout, chose patterns, highlights, and the solutions that can most effectively illuminate certain segments of the text. We prepared for them a large sheet of paper on the wall, cards with the key concepts, colored paper and markers. But in this class, we were facilitators and mediators, asking questions, but letting the students negotiate the creation process. Apart from the four core steps, we introduced varying leading tasks in the beginning of the semesters to introduce visualization methods, visual communication and visual thinking principles, and also follow-up tasks to further reflect on the interpretative process in either visual formats such as zoom in and zoom out portfolios to focus on detail or in broader context, or in written essay form. Based on the experience of these three semesters, we could observe two important results. First, that in their visualizations, students aptly used the basic means of visual communication, such as framing, coloring, arrows, connectors, letter styles, graphic elements, scaling and proportional differentiation to express connections, separations, hierarchy, categorization, examples, metaphors and logical connections. Each individual work was different, documenting each student's individual understanding process. However, there were structural similarities 
allowing common understanding and discussion. A second important observation was that during the creation of the group visuals, students argued for the choices of visual arrangement, so they actively discussed the text itself. The task of visual transformation was the explicit focus, but implicitly they did the relational work of text interpretation with an active, creative and critical attitude. If you are interested in the details of this teaching learning practice or the background theories that I have used, please find our publications and some key reference readings at the end of this video. Thank you for your attention.